came out of my vanity van and I just sat I just sank on the floor like on the on the ground and I just sat there and I just had this blank look for the first time and I was sitting there and I, I just suddenly had this abundant feeling of like boredom it was so deep it was so uh, powerful that that I felt really scared in that moment that happened for many years and then one day i i i decided i can't go on like this because this is no fun life this is not how one wants to wake up and i uh, i decided to give up on my life and i decided like i was i actually felt very very tired i i felt so tired crying every day waking up every day with no direction no um so much up and down in emotion and so when at that time even if i didn't want to live i from within there was this meek voice that should come like don't give up on yourself don't don't give up on yourself help is coming help is coming so i always have this uh, connection with my inner voice and that was the voice that kept me alive Noted television actor Shama Sikandar joins me on Table Talk today to speak about her attempted suicide and coming back from the brink. She puts the spotlight on bipolar disorder, an aspect of mental health that is seldom spoken about. सबसे पहले यू नो आई वांट टू फाइंड आउट कि दिस जर्नी यू नो आपकी जर्नी विद बाइपोलर डिसऑर्डर आपको कैसे पता चला दैट यू नो यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम I used to love my work. मुझे बहुत पसंद था शूटिंग करना और एक दिन सडनली आई रिमेंबर आई वाज सिटिंग ऑन um yes raj said i was doing a, one of the biggest show on television ever made and i it was my dream to work with them and everything and then sitting on the set i i still remember that that visual that i came out of my vanity van and i just sat i just sank on the floor like on the on the ground and i just sat there and i just had this blank look for the first time which i was aware of you know and uh and i was sitting there and i, I just suddenly had this abundant feeling of like boredom it was so deep it was so uh powerful that that i felt really scared in that moment for the first time because i i loved my work i love going to shoots i love meeting people i love doing all of that but i felt immense boredom in that moment and that was something very very scary for me for the first time i realized it uh after that i think it just वो हर रोज दिन ब दिन दिन ब दिन मेरा बॉर्डम बढ़ता गया मेरी मेरी इच्छा टू टू लिव कम होती गई मेरे डिजायर्स कम होते गए मेरे मुझे लोग नहीं पसंद आते थे मुझे उनके व्यवहार नहीं पसंद आते थे मुझे लगता था कि मुझे अपने आप को एक कमरे में बंद करके बस बैठ जाना चाहिए मैंने लिटरली वही किया बिकॉज मेरा किसी से बात करने का मन नहीं करता था और मैं घंटों रोते रहती थी फॉर नो राइम रीजन आई शुड जस्ट कीप क्राइंग इन क्राइंग इन ग्रीफ लाइक इज समी एज डाइड सो अगर आप दो दिन ऐसे रोए तो आपकी बॉडी टेक अ टोल ओवर यू एंड यू यू क्रैश एंड आई डिड दैट फॉर ऑलमोस्ट टू थ्री इयर्स ऑफ माय लाइफ एवरी डे फॉर सिक्स आवर्स एंड देन माय बॉडी वुड गिव अप माय टीयर्स वुड ड्राई एंड देन आई फॉल आई वुड फॉल अस्लीप ऑन द विंडो बिकॉज आई लुक आउटसाइड लाइक एज इफ आई एम ट्राइंग टू कॉल समबडी एज इफ आई एम ट्राइंग टू लाइक माय बीइंग इज ट्राइंग टू टेल पीपल दैट यू नो आई एम नॉट ओके एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ टू से दैट टू एनीबॉडी सो आई वुड जस्ट कीप क्राइंग and uh, crying alone like i, I didn't I, i was i was I, i'm the eldest in my family i'm always looked upon and everybody uh, around me also takes me like that so it was just so not me for them to or, or it was just so not me i never knew how to share my problems with them because everybody used to come and share their problems with me and i was always the problem solver and when it, there was a problem with me i didn't know where to go so uh, so that happened for many years and then one day i i I decided I can't go on like this because this is no fun life this is not how one wants to wake up and I uh, I decided to give up on my life and I decided like I was I actually felt very very tired I I felt so tired crying every day waking up every day with no direction no um so much up and down in emotion like you know I used to sometimes be very very happy sometimes be very snappy immediately from the happiness to like extreme anger I couldn't understand what was happening to me and nobody around me knew what was happening to me. My mother in fact thought that maybe maybe mujh mein koi jinmin ghus gaya hai because she was like my daughter has never been like this. She's always been very happy, always so respectful and loving and I became disrespectful to my parents. I became disrespect 
disrespectful to everybody because I hated everybody. I hated everything. I hated myself for being so nice and so naive and so, um, you know, fragile. Because I was always looked. I, I was always taught that you are so strong, you are strong, you are strong. So when I couldn't survive, I just hated that. I was like, what the hell is this? I, how can I not take this? So even the strongest people can fall. When I realized that, I mean, it, it was too late, and I get, and I uh, tried to take my life. Luckily, I was uh, saved by my family. They rushed me to the hospital. I had taken a lot of sleeping pills, and I and I uh, was almost gone. It was after four hours they realized that she's not waking up, uh, and I slept in the in the middle of the day. So they were like, "Why is she not waking up?" And then they just tried to shake me, and I was gone. So they all rushed me to the hospital, and no hospital would take me. Because they said this, ये तो suicidal case है, हम नहीं ले सकते. So a lot of things happened. You know, my friends then uh, uh, came in and they they made some excuse कि इसने कुछ सर गलत खा लिया लगता है तो कुछ poisoning poisoning हो गई है whatever. Anyway, so they took me in after like six hours and then by then the poison had really you know spread over um, uh, all over my body and I think it took them a whole night to take to take it out. I really didn't want to <laughs> come back. I had really given up uh, on life, and which was very unlike me. I was a very, very happy, really happy-go-lucky person. Um, so it was very shocking for me as well. I, I, I just didn't know how to process that shock. I just didn't know how to, um, what was happening to me. I, nobody spoke the language of mental health at that time. Nobody spoke these words, depression, bipolar. Like you know, um, everybody had uh, awareness of your physical illness, but nobody had awareness of your mental illness. So luckily at the time. um after i was saved my uh, friend at that time he he had studied uh, psychology and he said i think you have bipolar disorder and major depression so i said what are what is this ab ye kya hota hai you know because mujhe to pata hi nahi tha i never heard of these things he said you know uh, aapke brain chemicals hote hain wo normally fluctuate hote hain har din aapke ups and downs but wo jab aap बहुत से ज्यादा आपको ट्रॉमा हो जाता है तो वो थोड़े से ज्यादा फ्लक्चुएट होने लगते हैं इसलिए आपका मूड इतना अप एंड डाउन होता है तो उन्होंने मुझे इतनी सरल भाषा में समझाया तो मैंने बिकॉज आई गिवन अप ऑन लाइफ आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू लिव एंड आई वॉज एंग्री विद पीपल वाई डिड यू ब्रिंग मी बैक एंड आई वॉज एंग्री एट गॉड एंड आई वॉज एंग्री एट एवरी लाइक आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू लिव लाइक दिस वाई डिड यू ब्रिंग मी बैक आई एम स्टिल द सेम पर्सन इट्स नॉट लाइक आई कम बैक एंड आई एम अ न्यू पर्सन आई वॉन्टेड टू डाई सो आई कैन कम बैक अ न्यू पर्सन बट यू ब्रॉट मी द सेम पर्सन सो वॉट इज दिस नॉन सेंस सो When I when he told me that and he said please for me just go to a psychiatrist once, I never had any um, issue with going to a psychiatrist because first of all I didn't have any shame in my life. I was just very angry and upset. I I never had any problem because my grandmother um, has lived all her life with bipolar. I would say which was never diagnosed. uh people thought she has gin in her body and they called her crazy and they called her a ghost and all my life i saw i looked at her like a ghost because i i used to i was given these stories in india we have these stories you know ke bhoot aata hai usme aur wo aisa ho jata hai if you've seen bulbulaiya you know it's very very like that film was the only film that would depict uh, uh, a bhoot mentality to um what actually must be happening in the in the person's mind and and, and it was the only film that showed um Uh, a bit of um, twist uh, in the brain chemicals, and you know they they try to show it as as much as possible in the most humorous way. But that's what actually happened. So nobody knew what my grandmother had, and she died like that. She died a very sad life. And uh, when it happened to me, they thought that gene has transferred me. So my mother called a lot of people at home. She said, "Iska jada karo, is pe is pe ye is pe gene hai." So, anyways, uh, uh, none of that worked because luckily I'm I'm an educated person and I and I don't believe in all this and I'm like, what is wrong with you, Mama? I'm fine. This is not going to cure me. So anyway, so when I went to the doctor and he diagnosed me and he made me like write some this thick paper book, I wrote so many questions. I never I never heard of those questions in my life uh, before and I have been a person who's well traveled, who's um, who meets so many people on a daily basis. Nobody ever spoke about those things. and that was the saddest part and i was like oh my god i mean these these are just so simple issues and they exist within you and 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 it's it exists in everybody because i knew because i i could i could see it in everybody and i was like why don't people talk about it what is the problem and so when at that time even if i didn't want to live i from within there was this meek voice that should come like don't give up on yourself don't don't give up on yourself 
help is coming help is coming so i always have this uh, connection with my inner voice and that was the voice that kept me alive um even though i didn't want to get up i i would make myself get up and go and and do everything uh, in my um, you know everything in my capacity to to uh, give my 100% to heal because it was so important and then when i learned one by one by one it was a revelation for me it was a revelation that these are all just mental traumas never uh, addressed never you know healed never cleansed so i was like oh my god this is this is this is curable <laughs> when i thought that you know there's no light now when i thought that i am never going to have any desires or hope or anything and that's why i wanted to give up on my life because i woke up desireless i woke up directionless and uh, when i when i started to feel better it took me some time let me tell you this i it took me 3 years of continuous everyday therapy like i used to go not every day but once in a week i used to go and and meet doctors and i used to do cognitive therapies and i used to have a chat with them and they would uh, you know declutter my mind declutter my thoughts they would tell me that where is the problem if you you know because we don't know we are not taught that way we're not we, we, did, we didn't grow up talking about mental health and and emotion we don't know how to process our emotions that's the biggest problem in 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 all of us i i realized in our teaching uh, and also in our learning of life so you know when nobody talks about it obviously you're going to grow up thinking like how everybody else think and you won't even know the layers of your mind you won't even realize that there's so much that has this bottom layer this bottom layer is what is making you do all these things that you don't like about yourself or you don't like about the world but this so this bottom layer needs to be cured and this is bottom layer you know comes on you when you were 3 years old from the age of probably 0 to 7 or even before birth like you know so so much trauma that you come from and then you then you have more trauma perhaps it's a way of life perhaps it's your being trying to uh, achieve everything that you've desired to achieve in this life but but it's very important that we are aware of these things and it's very important that we know that it can be cured it's very important today if i'm standing here and talking about this is only because i i saw hope after 5 years of my life and that little hope made me survive and not only survive but thrive in life and so if i can do it anybody can do it and that's why i make it a point to talk about it i make it a point to share it with people because i knew when i was going through it i actually had nobody to tell me that you're going to survive this and and you're going to like nobody to understand even the, those are the two points actually you know jo uh, shama aapne bola hai one is ki uh, the acceptance of these issues yeah. and i yeah. think that the, the awareness of it hamare gharon mein bhi ji and dusra that you know logon ne bola hai, you know even your family thought you are very strong and as as, as being strong can't happen to you and i think exactly kind of pressure hum society mein dalte even on our boys डोंगे So I'm like be okay with it. It's okay if I didn't like it and I said no. I mean it doesn't mean that I hate you or whatever. It just like please normalize no. You know the, the biggest lesson of my life was to how to say no. I didn't know how to say no because everybody teaches you to to be people pleaser, you know? Because they are people pleasers. So you also learn to be a people pleaser. And when you are not a people pleaser everybody looks at you like who are you and what do you think you are you know this is this is weird notions that come into their brain because they don't know how to handle that how to handle rejection but rejection is a part of life you have to take it with a pinch of salt and say boss it's okay maybe maybe you know the other person didn't see it. that doesn't mean ki tumhara whatever aapki jo feeling hai ya aapne jo offer kiya hai wo kharab hai nahi hai bhai it took me time to learn how to be okay with things how to let go of things how to um say no and how to have your boundary because once you have your boundary only then can you be happy only then can you be full full also you have to be full to give no i want to give my best to other people if i keep on giving all the time and if i empty myself and i don't know how to receive or accept from other people then i'll be just empty vessel i'll have nothing to give and that's what happened to me that's why i felt so empty and so bored when i was going through all of that because i i'm a giver and i love giving and it was also it's also ego it's also related to your ego you see it 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 fed my ego 
then I'm a bigger person because this is how our society teaches you. If you give, you're a bigger person. If you forgive, you're a bigger person. You know, if you, all the other emotions that are darker emotions, that are shadow emotions are always suppressed. There is nothing wrong in having those emotions and addressing those emotions. And, you know, we, we, that's why I said, like, we don't know how to process emotions. Well, the past five years, how were those years? They were the toughest years of my life. I, I, and so I, 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 I tap on my back because if I could go through that, I can go through anything. And so I tell everybody, like, you know, I, I, I went after going through it, I used to say, God, please don't give this to anybody because this is really, really tough. It taught me so much about me. It taught, it gave me the true me. So I feel like, you know, a lot of people are living a very superficial life and they need to know who they really are. They need to understand the value of themselves. They need to know how much they matter and how much they bring to the table. And they need to really learn that. They need to really know about that. And once you know that, no one can take you for granted. Once you know that, you know, you won't have all these traumas that you that you go through every day. Um, so those five years has taught me a lot. I really take, I'm a very positive person and I like to take it in a positive stride. It took a lot from me. It took whole of me. Let me tell you, this is not a lot from me. It took my life, but it gave me a life that I was worthy of. So I tell everybody who is going through depression or anything, don't be scared of it. It is your friend. Treat it like a friend, not like your enemy. It is a friend that is reminding you that, hey, you have suppressed yourself long enough. Come out now. It's time to come out. It's time to be yourself. It's time to shine your light and not be this suppressed, dark, uh, you know, uh, th this person that everybody wants you to be. So if you start taking, like when I came out of it, I learned that you have to hug your darkness and say, hey, I love you because that's what it means. You know, you have to learn to accept that part and you have to learn to validate that part. You have to learn to say, hey, it's okay. It's okay to have because we all have jealousy. We all have envy. We all have all these emotions that nobody wants to have. That everybody thinks is really bad, but they exist for a reason. And you have to learn to validate them because when you don't validate them, those are the moment, those are the expressions or those are the uh, emotions that really, really become very dark, and then and then they they turn into depression or whatever you want to call it. Even now, uh, on this road back, are there stops? Matlab, koi aise din hote hai, Shama, jab, you know, you just don't want to get up or go to work or just... Bilkul hote hai, bohat saare din hote hai. But ab mere mein itni awareness hai ki mein unhe, unse lardi nahi hoon. Mein un moments ko gale lagati hoon, hoti chalo, aaj tum ko mujhe yahaan bister mein rakhna hai, to chalo, aaj hum bister mein rahe hai. Aaj hum achche se rohenge, aur aaj, aaj hum apni saari jo hai, uh, sadness hai, wo release karein. So, usse kya hota hai, mera pain bohat halka ho jata hai. Mujhe itna dard nahi hota, jitna pahle hota tha. मुझे दुख होता है मैं मैं अपने दुख को रिलीज करती हूँ और मैं मेडिटेट करती हूँ मैं फिर वापस अपने सेंसेस में आ जाती हूँ ऐसा कोई दिन नहीं है कि आप ऐसा नहीं होता कि लोगों को यू you नो know, एक बार डिप्रेशन हुआ तो जिंदगी में अगर आप ठीक हो गए तो फिर कभी नहीं होगा नहीं वो मोमेंट्स आपके साथ रहते हैं अब बिकॉज एक बार जब आपने इतना गहराई से फील करना शुरू कर दिया एक बार जब आपकी अवेयरनेस इतनी बढ़ गई वो उससे कम हो ही नहीं सकती ना वो बढ़ेगी ही वो डेप्थ और बढ़ेगी वो वो अवेयरनेस और बढ़ेगी वो कम नहीं हो सकती अवेयरनेस के के, के जरिए आप उस मोमेंट से बहुत मोमेंट के थ्रू बहुत आसानी से गुजर सकते हैं आपको इसकी ताकत मिलती है क्योंकि आप अवेयर हैं इट्स जस्ट लाइक आज मुझे खसर की खांसी हुई है लेट्स नॉट गो टू हार्ड ऑन माई सेल्फ लेट लेट मी स्लीप सी तब तब लोगों को नहीं लगता है कि वो कुछ गलत कर रहे हैं तब को लगता है यार मेरी बॉडी में दर्द हो रहा है ये हो रहा है मैं सो रहा हूँ लेकिन जब दिमाग में दर्द होता है तब लोगों को लग, बड़ी बड़ी फाइट करनी होती है अरे ऐसा क्यों वैसा क्यों ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए आपका दिमाग आपका सबसे बड़ा कहते हैं ना साथ ही आपका ब्रेन ही है अगर आपका ब्रेन फंक्शन बंद हो जाए तो आप कुछ भी नहीं कर पाएंगे सो अगर आप उसे हेल्दी और सेटिस्फाइड नहीं रखेंगे तो आप हेल्दी और सेटिस्फाइड नहीं रह सकते आप कितने भी बॉडी बना लें आप कितने भी लुक्स ले लें लेकिन अगर आप के अंदर आप यू नो अपने माइंड में अगर आप खुश नहीं है ना तो आपके चेहरे पर ना ग्लो आएगा आप आप दुखी रहेंगे उसके लिए आपको अपनी मेंटल हेल्थ का ध्यान रखना ही पड़ेगा और कोई चारा नहीं है और ये एक अवेयरनेस है जो अभी तक शमा वी हैव टू क्रिएट कि जस्ट बिकॉज समबडी स्माइलिंग डजेंट मीन दैट यू नो समबडी इज नॉट गोइंग थ्रू कि यू नो उनके मन में कुछ और नहीं है क्योंकि लोग ऐसे सोचते हैं समझते हैं कि आप खुश हैं आप खुश लग रहे हैं सब कुछ ठीक है मगर आई थिंक दिस इज द बिगेस्ट पैलिटी इज द बिगेस्ट रॉन्ग विद मेंटल हेल्थ इशूज इट इज एंड ऑल्सो वो लोग इसलिए समझते हैं क्योंकि उन लोगों में इतनी कुत नहीं है कि वो किसी की शक्ल देख के या आंखें देख के समझ सके कि 
यार कुछ तो गड़बड़े हैं उतना होने के लिए आपको अपने आप को स्टडी करना पड़ता है बचपन से मुझे ऐसा लगता था मेरे दोस्त ऐसे होंगे ना जो मुझे देख के ही समझ जाएंगे कि कुछ गड़बड़े अब ये बड़ी एक्सपेक्टेशन है यार मतलब आप किसी से कैसे ऐसे उम्मीद कर सकते हो ये मुझे सीखने में थोड़ा वक्त लगा <laughs> क्योंकि मैं ऐसी थी कि मैं इतनी गहराई से सोच सकती थी वो मेरी केपेबिलिटी थी मैं मेरा गिफ्ट है वो कि मैं इतनी डेप्थ में सोच सकती हूँ और मुझे फीलिंग्स फील होती है अभी कल परसों मेरा कोई दोस्त मुझे बोल रहा था कि यू नो सब मुझसे मैं सबको लगता था कि मैं खुश हूँ लेकिन इसने कहीं मेरा एक फोटो फेसबुक पे फोटो देखा और इसने मुझे फोन किया तुम्हारा फोटो है तुम बहुत सैड लग रहे हो तुम आओ मुझसे बात करो आई डेंट इवन रिमेंबर दैट कि मैंने ऐसा किया था बट वेन यू रिमाइंडेड मी एन सर आई ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट यू आर ओनली ऑन गुड सी माई सैड ऑल ऑफ एस हैव द केपेबिलिटी टू वी आर जस्ट नॉट वी जस्ट नॉट पॉलिश दैट वी जस्ट नॉट वी जस्ट नॉट बिकम अवेयर ऑफ दैट once we become aware of our own emotions once we become aware of our own process you know how to process our own emotions you will easily be able to feel that for the other person you know and and please be okay with people suffering please i really request people you know words bahut bade bade bolte hain lekin harkatein nahi kar pate aap apne actions mein utne bade nahi hote to kai baar simplest actions hote hain na just by being by you know with somebody or just being yourself truly yourself is the biggest action you can ever do शमा रिसेंटली वो टीवी एक्टर वैशाली टक्कर शी डाइड बाय सुसाइड जब आपको ऐसी खबरें आप पढ़ती हैं आपके मन में क्या जाता है बहुत दुख होता है मेरे एक खुद के बहुत करीबी दोस्तों ने ऐसा भी किया है एंड आई रियली फील लाइक यू नो अगर मेरे साथ भी ऐसा होता तो ऐसी न्यूज पढ़ के लोग ऐसे ही फील कर रहे होते लाइफ इज सो फ्रेच आई यू नो यू रियली रियली डोंट आई फील वेरी सैड फॉर दोस्त एंड आई रियली फील आई विश आई कुड जस्ट यू नो रीच अप टू एज मेनी एज पॉसिबल एंड टेल दम दैट देर इज लाइफ जस्ट डोंट गिव अप just don't allow anybody or anything to have that power over you because today i can do that but i understand that when they are in that vulnerable stage how fragile they are and how uh, you know it is the other person's job or duty the other human's duty to really help them survive that because they are not in the in, 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 we are all a big family right agar ek family mein ek bande ko problem hoti hai ek bhai ya behan ko ya koi sibling ko problem hoti hai kya aap bhai behan ek dusre ki help nahi karte कोई इंसान भले आपका ब्लड का रिश्ता नहीं है बट हमारा ह्यूमैनिटी का तो रिश्ता है ना यार उसके लिए क्यों नहीं खड़े रहना उसके लिए जितना कर सकते हो उतना तो करो उसको एक स्माइल ही दे दो आपको पता नहीं एक स्माइल कितना बड़ा यू नो पावर रखती है छोटी छोटी चीजें लोगों को लगता है मुझे लगता था जब मैं डिप्रेशन से बाहर निकली मुझे लगता था मुझे लोगों की हेल्प करनी है मैं कैसे करूँ मैं कैसे करूँ बिकॉज मुझे रोज रात को एक कॉलिंग होती थी एंड आई शू वेकअप आई शू थिंक क्या मुझे पहाड़ तोड़ने पड़ेंगे क्या करना पड़ेगा मतलब मैं बहुत बड़ा कुछ सोच रही थी कि कुछ करना पड़ेगा मुझे और एक दिन मैं ऐसे ही मैंने सवाल किया गॉड प्लीज टेल मी यू वांट मी टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट टेल मी व्हाट टू डू एंड दिस मीकेंस टॉकिंग पीपलोरीबर because i felt alone i felt lonely i felt like there was nobody with me in that moment and and if i if i had somebody with me it probably would have been easier for me it was very surprising for me when i when i went through my therapies and i was like my goodness this is so every human goes through this every human is going through this why are they not here taking their therapy why are there only few people taking therapy you know because i feel like every human needs therapy every human needs to go through this cleansing of soul this cleansing of mind this cleansing of uh, the process of uh, you know all the suppressed emotions that you've really like you know devoured in front it needs to come out it needs to be expressed in the right way so when they're not expressed in the right way of course your brain is going to explode of course you you're going to have bipolar disorder and all kind of disorders you can name them tag them whatever but this is nothing there's a huge study on these things um where uh, this amazing uh, scientist who's uh, discovered uh, of depression as not being an illness it's just suppressed emotions it's just and just like what i was telling you just like it was and i i was so relieved to hear that i feel like the biggest way the, the that helped me was the cognitive therapy now what is cognitive therapy cognitive therapy is nothing but going into deep meditative state and remembering your trauma remembering your trauma which is hidden in your subconscious mind because you don't remember today what happened to you 10 years ago 12 years ago you don't remember recently ke abhi to itna data you know is there in the market you don't remember anything that happened to you yesterday forget about 10 years ago 12 years ago or 15 years ago so you have to remember that because that was a trauma that is the cause of today's trauma that way of life that that perception of life that you made at the age of 4 or 5 or 6 
that is what is created this life for you and if you don't like this life of yours you must go back to that child the child you and ask that child you what was it what is it what is it that you want me to see what is it that you want me to heal that child needs your and and you'll be surprised we expect other people's love we expect ke humko dusre pyar kare hain dusre hamare sath khade rahe but the but the but the truth is it only expect your love and your your uh, acceptance because you are not accepting that part of it as i said to you like you have to hug your darkness it's a part of you you have to allow it to come out you have to allow it to process and then choose an emotion that really benefits you don't straight away just choose that emotion and just literally like disregard it, these other emotions that are that are taking place within you that is what is very harmful needs your own acceptance now i wasn't ex- accepting myself i wasn't accepting so many things about me that's why i was unhappy that's why i was sad and because i felt so sad and unhappy within i felt unloved but i wasn't sure that this was i was unloved by my own self <laughs> you know i felt unloved by the world but you know you the world is a mirror of you if you feel unloved by you then the then you will feel unloved by everybody else today i feel so loved by myself that i trust me wherever i go there is so much love for me i sometimes i sometimes just cry just out of gratitude ki my god i wasted so many years of my life feeling so unloved and and that was not the truth that was just the perception of my own that i had built up you know from my childhood you know there's huge perception that you can uh, you can make in that small little age of yours you don't you don't understand the world you just want love and you just want to be caressed and hugged all the time so and parents also don't know how to really explain the child that if i am busy right now it's not that i don't love you no who says now beta i don't it's not like i don't love you parents will just say are beta shut up now two minutes just just let me do my work because they are also busy in their life they also don't know how to process their emotions they also as human as we are you know and this whole idea in india is like parents are gods parents are gods is really really bad people look at them and they think you they can't commit any mistake they can't be you know they can't they can't they can't do this to us and that's very unfair to them those who are younger and who are still trying to find fight this battle amongst themselves apne se you know lad rahe hain apne parivar walon se lad rahe hain society mein you know uh, getting counseling is not cheap either unko yeah. aap kya advice doge you know how I, i have a lot of people who have written in children who have written in to me uh, saying ki hame madad ki zarurat hai par hamare paas paise nahi hai ya hamare parivar wale samajhte nahi hai ki hame you know hame depression hai ya hame madad ki zarurat hai in bachchon ko ya inko aap kya bataoge kya kya badlav chahiye hame to you know make mental health a mainstream conversation First of all stop expecting everybody else to understand you because right now even you are having trouble understanding your own self your own mind your own you are confused and which is valid because when so much is happening in your in your in our mind we are really confused and we are looking for help and we expect other people to help us just think of them as you they might be just fighting the same battle they might not be showing it to you so once you accept that jab aapki expectation thodi kam ho jati hai na to thoda dard कम होता है मैंने देखा है लोगों को दर्द ज्यादा इसलिए होता है क्योंकि वो इतना एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं और उसका दूसरा साइड कभी एक्सपेक्ट ही नहीं करते कि कुछ अलग भी तो हो सकता है हो सकता है ये बंदा मेरे लिए खड़ा ही नहीं रहे हो सकता है ये मुझे ना सपोर्ट करे तो यू हैव टू बी ओके विद आल्सो ओके सो वंस यू हैव दैट अवेयरनेस आप छोटे हो या बड़े हो और छोटे होते हैं तो बहुत खून बॉयल होता है हमारा बहुत हमारे में इमोशंस हाइट पे होते हैं हमारे सो आई कैन टोटली अंडरस्टैंड बट बट नो दिस वन थिंग दैट and i'm saying this month with my experience it is not other people's fault it is not your fault either you just didn't know better you're learning to be better and if your being is asking these questions that means it wants you to be better it wants you to be you you want to cry cry i know it's difficult but know that you're stronger than that i didn't know i was stronger than that tell other people express you know a lot of time like when i was telling you that i used to think ke mere friend ko bina bole samajh jana chahiye ki mere mein sa kya ho rahi hai that's a very big expectation why what is the problem what is this ego boost that i get out of this i mean why can't i express what is happening with me perhaps if i express what is happening with me they will be able to understand me better and even then if they don't understand then let them be at this moment don't expect it from them because they just don't they don't get you they don't get your emotion so be okay with it it's fine 
you will find better people but most importantly you need to find you you need to really stand up for you you need to really like be there because you are worthy you are worthy like my 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 wife knew that i was worthy and it used to tell me that you know don't give up on yourself you want other people to fight for you first you have to fight for yourself shama aise lagta hai na that agar hum accept bhi kar le it will derail everything there's a career there's you know all of that okay don't worry about that trust me don't worry about that all that will fall in place it's none of your 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 problem i know that we are trained ke career hona chahiye career hona chahiye aur yahan to baba i really feel like you know hamari hamari evaluation hi career se hoti hai agar aapka career nahi hai to aapki koi value nahi hai matlab ye kya hai i don't understand this this is very this is very wrong for for people to do to each other yahan se like kai baar mujhe reporters puchte hain and i know unki niyat buri nahi hai i know wo chahte hain ki main ma'am aapko to kahan hona chahiye tha तो मैं उनको पूछती हूँ कहा होना चाहिए था मुझे आप ही बता दें क्योंकि मैं तो बहुत <laughs> मैं अपने नजर में बहुत आगे हूँ जहाँ मुझे होना चाहिए था उससे कई ज्यादा मेरे पास है तो मैं तो बहुत खुश हूँ लेकिन आप खुश नजर नहीं आ रहे हैं मेरी कामयाबी से आपके हिसाब से मुझे कहा होना चाहिए था अब मैं किस किस की किस किस की उम्मीदों पर खरी उतरू आई केन ओनली बी ग्रेटफुल फॉर वट आई अचीव एंड आई केन ओनली थ्राइव एंड वर्क फॉर वट आई वॉन्ट टू अचीव इन लाइफ इन फ्यूचर I would like to be in Hollywood. I would like to be a bigger star. I would like to be, and I'm working for it, and I and I will be one day. But don't put time limits on me. There are people who are coming back from today. They are 60 years old, 70 years old, and doing lead roles in the in the in the cinema. Did they ever think? Could they ever think like that before? No. It's the changing of time. It's the changing of acceptance of humankind. Whatever is happening, it, it, there's a huge change happening right now in in the universe. The universe is changing, and that's why we are even talking about mental health. A few years ago, nobody even spoke about it, and today there's an awareness about it. You know, there are so many people who are coming out and sharing their experiences of life. Now, I'm, I did leave my career. I left everything for five years. I just went out, and I just went completely out of sight because I didn't want to be seen. I just, I just wanted to experience real life out of this industry, but. It's so unfortunate that everybody is just stuck in this rut because the whole society sees you. आज आप कितनी पिक्चरें सुपर हिट हुई हैं? आज आप कहाँ पहुँचे हैं? कितना पैसा कमाते हैं? That's how they value you. पैसों से आपकी वैल्यू नहीं होती है. आपकी वैल्यू तो आप हैं. तो आपको ये समझना पड़ेगा कि you know you have to be fearless, absolutely fearless because that's what it's trying to teach you. My depression taught me to be fearless. When life is happening to me without any shame, why should I be ashamed of anything? You know why should you be ashamed of anything? So just just be fearless and 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 accept your fearlessness. If you will not accept all these emotions, then you will get then you will really feel sad. Then you because the more you fight, you're fighting yourself. You know acceptance. It all comes so, down to acceptance, doesn't it? Acceptance. Yeah. If we don't heal as a society, we are going to keep creating wars. We are going to keep creating miseries for ourselves. And so each person's uh, responsibility. It is our responsibility to heal. We we cannot heal. other person but we can heal ourselves you know when you are healed then you just spread so much healing around that you know wherever you go people are like wow you know they're happy their joy is there they are they are able to express their emotions to you fearlessly absolutely no more power to you to you know uh, creating more and more awareness about such an important Thank issue while working and uh, all the very best shama thank you so Thank much you. for speaking with me today thank, thank you, you. Thank you. thank you guys thank you take care and have a great life have a happy life you all deserve it so much trust me when i say that <laughs>